what's the haps? <laughs> Listen, I'm back. I'm doing it. This is kind of what I do. So, gonna be a little vid. I'm gonna try something different. We're gonna vlog this thing because I figured I just gotta get this on video. Um, so let's just get this going and uh, let's see what we got going on here. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget we got this thing here if you can't see. Oh, <laughs> my poor original motor. My poor original motor. <laughs> the OEM, the 150. 156, I think we got with that thing. Yo, if this ain't, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this is how we get it done, right? We got some light. So we're trying a little something different. We're out in the garage, it's hot. You know I've gotten the car back. It's been down, it's been broken. I broke this, I busted that. I had to wait for this. You've seen the videos, you know. If you haven't, go watch some of the videos, check it out. Since we got it back from really, from getting the engine swapped out or replaced because of the timing belt issue and then having it uh, tuned, you know, I probably logged, I don't know, I might have maybe 700 miles on it now all together, so in that time i've been you know bolt checking and just like chasing down squeaks and rattles we got the intercooler in and actually when uh matt my tuna got the intercooler sitting prop sitting where it's supposed to be now it doesn't bang anything i mean <laughs> when it's done by a professional and you can see i had rubber stuff there's about look at this that's how we do it see all that those rubber hoses and rubber hoses in there and there's like a rubber hose there <laughs> there's a rubber hose right there that's all to keep it from vibrating because i probably didn't have everything in exactly where it needed to be so it was bouncing off the ac lines but anyways and it's a bigger in the cool so there's a, it's a tight fit but anyways we got that in uh, and when he did that that eliminated a ton of rattles i was getting a ton of rattles especially like especially in certain gears when you down to do a little bit more rpm a little bit more rumble uh and then believe it or not putting the strut tower brace back on that also cleared up some rattles and stresses uh now when you're putting braces on your car you got to remember that it is a force coming through there and the force is going to relocate somewhere else um so you just got to be happy with that i guess but with that being said putting this back on that definitely cleared up now now i've been driving it and anyways we've been chasing down it small rattles and so uh, there was a couple of bolts here and then i tightened and you know, i had the whole front subframe off transmission out all the braces torqued it all down but after you put some miles on you really got to go back and double check everything now whether you torque it down and it's perfect then fine now you got a peace of mind um or maybe you didn't torque it down and it forgot or maybe you just you did torque it down and still came loose or for whatever reason uh with you know my car and the, you'll see the videos i had all this off i had the hub off you can see the hub i painted it red for some super reason just because it was off right there and we had uh, i put in new brakes i had jdm four pots that i completely separated put them in half took them in half new everything so all, all those bolts were right we had the sway bar if i got sway bar bushings obviously the steering rack um sti lower control arms <clears throat> so everything's been off i'm not blaming anybody here but myself <laughs> because because that just wouldn't be right uh, but i have had some awesome mechanics along the way i've done the best job my man tiago shout out tiago shout out uh tuna uh matt minor it does it's dr it's driving better now than as i have and then it ever has even from brand new so all right so long story short i'm driving it's still making some no it's still making some vibration still vibrate like not really vibrating but every once in a while you can just feel a little something and i was like i'm very aware when i drive and i knew it was coming from the front drivers front driver side somewhere so i checked all the bolts here i checked every single bolt and then finally at the end that one right there 
the castle nut on the lower control arm to the hub was there was no cotter pin and the bolt was loose the castle nut was loose so there was some play in that thing that could have been dangerous <laughs> if that came apart but um here's the cotter pin that's all i was really missing i think i gotta look on the sheet i think this was 78 cents maybe 90 cents less than a dollar anyways i bet it was somewhere i can't remember because i bought some other stuff with it but that's what it was you put it through and you'll say but i think that's it right there a little bit more so let me get this little thing through i'm sure there's probably a proper way to put that in but i'm gonna put it in that way because i'm gonna bend it that way let's see what way i want to bend it when i put it through i want to put the I'm going to bend the shorter one back. Let the big one go through. Oh, well, you know what I'm going to find? I need a hammer. Something to get this stupid thing through. Is it right there? Yeah, it's right there. There we go. Hammer. <laughs> because I'm OCD and I want it to go a certain way. And I want the bottom to be the short side. So I'm going to put the short side with that long side up. So the long side gets to bend all the way back around and it doesn't a little bit further away okay i like that and it's easy to bend there we go we grab it there we go caught up in in and uh let's see what this one looks like looking kind of whack though it's in it's not coming out but can you see that thing yeah I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, yeah, I could probably just pull it out and put in that better one, right? There we go. Perfect, boys. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> be aware listen to your car I don't just listen to it I think that's probably good I think that's probably good for now until I get the torque wrench and we'll set those to 77 that is actually makes me pretty happy as easy as that was as quick as that was because uh, that could have been a problem if that separator while I was driving and then the control lamp separates from the hub. I don't think that would be good, but you know, this is like I said, you're aware, be aware. And uh, it feels good to find it, see what it is, diagnose it, fix it, and within not that long, you know, a few short minutes with some tools, and we are good. <laughs> yes, dude. Still insanely pumped to have it back so it's gonna be it for this little like mini kind of blog 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 whatever you want to call that kind of shiz and izzy <laughs> you know but I gotta go in and start doing some daddy things and uh, that's just gonna be it I'm just gonna wrap I'm just giving this a shot yo so that's what we're doing we're checking bolts we're checking nuts and we're checking bolts <laughs> okay uh, we're just checking nuts. <laughs> checking fucking nuts. Oh, shit. Whatever. Come on. Let's get it done. All right, I got to get inside. I'll stay out here all night. We got the lights up here. <laughs> all right. Let's close her down. Let's close her down. Yeah. All right. That's it uh, for today. Subscribe, like, help me out. You know, if you feel so inclined. You know, it's an easy way to help out the channel. You know? Until I have some badass merch. I do have some, I keep on saying, I do have great merch ideas. I just got to get them uh, onto a shirt. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Thanks again. I'm out for today. Until then, you know, be happy. Do the things that make you happy uh, while having a great heart, okay? You can't be a dick <laughs> while doing the things you like to do. You know, have fun. But... Be respectful of others too. Alright, I love you guys. Thank you. Subscribe. Johnny Turbo. I'm out. <laughs> Got it been gone. Repaired. Bolts tight. Let's do it. <laughs>
Oh, I love this car. All right, peace.